friend of mine got a, um, so, well, she, she got a promotion at her job, basically, and, uh, had to cancel on our plans to go to a Drab Majesty concert in Austin. Um, so I'm heading there by myself, um, and I've never actually gone to Austin by myself, um, which you would think, well, that's not entirely true, but I've never gone to a concert by myself in Austin. I've gone to things in Austin by myself, but, um, so this is actually a new experience for me. Um, I got me a, a baggie full of lunch and dinner and there's kind of drinks and what have you, um, that I made so I don't have to stop and, uh, like, buy th things. I mean, unless I have to use the bathroom, right? Then I guess, you know, I could always, like, buy a coffee or something. But, um, coffee recently has been, uh, giving me, well, exacerbating my anxiety, which has been really, really, really bad these past couple of days. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with, um, just work and, uh, I mean, stuff with my transition is not really all that crazy, but uh, when my anxiety shoots up, I start to notice little problems and I make mountains out of mohills and, you know, you end up, um, Anxiety can turn all my little problems into, like, huge, devastating, world-crushing problems. Like, you know, I start to think all sorts of funny things. So, um, yeah, um, so I'm trying, this is my old phone, which I repaired, um, and I'm trying to see if I can use this camera to shoot, uh, a video, or some videos, depending on how the quality is, um, so I guess today is a good test for that. Uh, yeah. So wish me luck. I'll check back in in just a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and um, head that way.
I didn't want to stop. Okay, so just real quick, I wanted to make a, a note of an observation. So, I had noticed that a few brands of vehicles um, with their newer models had started to use a coffin shape in their front grille. Um, now that I'm taking note of this, um, I've noticed, I wouldn't say the vast majority of vehicles, but a large amount of the newer vehicles I'm seeing on the streets, and not just those few brands that I was thinking before, but a large, large amount of them have coffin shapes, mostly upright, sometimes upside down. For their grills and I mean it makes a gorgeous like like angry aggressive profile but um, and I love the way it looks see there's another one and another one um so I understand why they're doing it um, it's just interesting to think like sort of society evolving through its shadow side and the acceptance of darker uh, emotions uh, and, and this idea that people want to start driving cars with more um, aggressive looks to them. And, and just like all of these mainstream vehicles having coffin shapes on their fronts. It's just so, I don't know, quaint's not quite the word I'm looking for, but um, it's interesting. And I wanted to note that observation. Um, yeah, so I just got into Austin. I literally just got on the highway thingy, whatever the fuck you call this one. Um, I'm going to try to make it there without using GPS, because I've been there a whole bunch of times, and I should know kind of the direction that I'm going. And if I get lost, I'll use the GPS, but I kind of don't want to lose the ability to use maps and shit. And I think if I have to, I have a um, couple of maps of Austin in my glove box. Um, but I, I, think, I, I think I should be able to just drive straight there. Um, the signs are pretty good in these big cities, especially in the capital. So, um, yeah. So I need to get to focusing on driving and not really recording while I'm on the street. Because this is, I think my turn's coming up here. But, yes! Oh, so I made it. Um, that was uh, a little nerve-wracking at the end there. I almost got like to where I needed to go and there was like this bus behind me and it kept honking at me and I'm not sure if that's like what it's supposed to do, but it was kind of getting my anxiety up and um, so yeah, my anxiety shot through the roof and that yeah um so but um so i pulled out the gps thing at the very last minute and i um told it where i wanted to go relatively and it was like oh okay you're already on the way and it's just like okay just right right around here I'm like, okay all right sweet so um i've made it here and uh I'm gonna go pay the parking thing real quick, because this platinum parking thing, it's like $10 for the evening or some shit. And then, uh, I really have to pee, so I think I'm gonna go to the club, and then like pee, and then come back, and then grab a snack, or something like that. I, I don't know, let me go pay the ticket real quick for the parking, and then I'll figure that out at any rate all right got it little thingy here um I'll put it right there and uh yeah I guess I should go ahead and just grab a little snack while I'm here in case I decide I do not want to come back out um not feeling particularly hungry and I definitely have to pee more than I am thirsty it's one of those things that's kind of silly, right? Like, uh, well, yeah. This is an amazing sandwich that I made. Um, I mean, it's not that great, but it's pretty damn good. 
Let's got these um, uh, Tofurky Deli Slices and Follow Your Heart um, Vegan Cheddar. And I didn't realize how hungry I was until I decided to take a bite. So, mmm, it's fantastic. Mmm, this way, I'm going to eat a little bit. Fix up my lipstick before I go. Mmm, as I feel like there's going to be a line. I mean, it's Drab Majesty, right? So, it was last time. <sighs> yeah. That I forgot that I had these. <laughs> um, and with the amount of water I've been drinking, um, we get to make sure I have um, my electrolytic balance proper. I don't know if I said that right. I want some pickles. That's what I'm saying. Um, so I forgot to grab these, which are freaking awesome, by the way. I don't know what they spice them with. Um, there's just some shit. They have them at like Walmart and HEB and shit. Um, Awesome. I mean, I know I'm way overpaying for it, but it fit in my lunch bag, and this is important. Alright, so this really fucking bothers me. So without fail, it doesn't matter if I'm doing mascara, if I'm doing eyeliner, or if I'm just touching up my lips like I was doing, my left eye starts watering. You can tell me why that is? Does somebody understand the process? that I have no fucking clue what the hell that is it's annoying as hell because it melts my shit anyway so The door still went open until 6.30, but I was able to use the restroom, and with this stamp I can get in and out. So that's good, um, but because the doors don't open for the main stage till 6.30, I'm a little anxious. Um, I don't really want to walk in circles for another 15 minutes or so, so I decided I'm going to go back to the car. and got to be fat. Look, it's hot. I forget about this because I work overnight. Oh my god. Like makeup melting and everything. Hair sticking to your face. Sad makeup. Oof. <sighs> you girl's out of shape. Just being honest. Walking up that hill in the heat. <sighs> But yeah, so, I mean, I can get in and out, so that's fine. I think I was one of the, one of the first people in there, so. Um, but, you know, the, one of the coolest damn things about Mohawk, um, so they've changed the bathrooms from men's and women's to urinals and toilets. <laughs> Which is fucking great. I love that. Um, <coughs> mm, pardon me. And uh, I'm gonna turn the AC on a little higher because it is warm and I would like to cool off before making that track again. Um, so the door is open at 6.30. I don't think the first band plays that early. I probably could have showed up way later, but there's two more bands that are opening for uh, Drab Majesty, who is headlining this tour. And I don't remember their names. I just looked at them. Hopefully they're good. Um, like, I have this huge, terrible urge to smoke. Like, really bad. Because I see people smoking cigarettes. And they look like they're having a good time. But my lungs still hurt. You know? Like, I mean, I don't know how many ex-smokers can, um, you know, relate to this. But... You know, it's been like 10 months since I like quit, but um, maybe a little bit longer than that. <coughs> but, um, shit, it's almost been a year, but it's only been like a month and a half, maybe two months since my last cigarette. So every now and again I would get cigarettes and I would smoke them. I uh, usually only about a half a pack or like a pack. Um, 
this last time when I took my roommate to um, the airport in the middle of the day, I had to take a day off that, like, it actually kind of, it kind of hurt me because I had to call in and it really pissed off my boss. Um, but it was one of those things he needed a ride and it was like, well, he would do the same thing for me. Um, so I took him up there and, but you know, I had just got done working like all night and, um, I was super tired and I was frustrated. And so I bought a pack of cigarettes. Um, but every time I light one up, it hurts. Like all these nodes in my body, especially on my, I guess it's my left side. I keep wanting to say it's my right side for some reason. But my left side over here, um, all these nodes light up and just hurt like hell. Um, and I don't, you know, I don't know what to do about that um, other than just not smoke, right? Um, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise, and uh, it, that's been the major factor that's helped me stay quit, is that pain. Um, maybe, <clears throat> maybe smoking for 13 years I did some serious damage, but um, yeah, I still wake up, and um, it hurts around here, and I don't know if that's nodes or like lung or something, and I still have a bunch of phlegm that I'm coughing up, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of that is probably just getting used to normal lung function. Um, you know, because when you smoke, your lungs get shut down, and, yeah, so I haven't, up until recently, I have not been a, uh, an adult with, I mean, I started smoking before I turned into an adult, and I kept doing it until very recently, so, um, maybe that's just what lungs feel like. I know smoking pot was a lot more painful. I did not expect that at all. Um, <clears throat> that, I mean, that almost turned me off as smoking pot altogether, is because when you smoke it, and you get that raspy throat, and then, um, it just, it makes you cough a whole hell of a lot, and like, as a cigarette smoker, I'd never had that issue. It was just like, oh, okay, this is cool. I breathe in, I feel good, but, um, that's totally changed. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about that other than that it sucks, and I need to start doing more cardio. Um, anyway, I'm gonna be fat and snack on a few like cookies and um, get nice and hydrated before I go inside. Uh, you know, um, I, I kind of want some caffeine, I, but I'm worried that uh, they'll probably have some caffeine in there, some kind of, um, they don't have a coffee, they'll have a soda or something like that, um, and that'll work. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to pig out for a minute and try to figure out what the hell I'm going to do in there, twiddling my thumbs, because usually I smoke. I just sit there and chain smoke, and um, today is two, two things for that is, one is going to my first concert by myself and being okay with that awkwardness, and the other one is um, doing that without <clears throat> drugs or alcohol. So, um, but yeah, I'm still gonna have a hell of a good time. <laughs>
Good gods, it feels good to sit down. Oh, thank the mother. Okay. So. Oh. You'll have to forgive me. Uh, there were two wonderful people there. There were several really nice people, but two very wonderful people there who began talking to me up front, and uh, they bought me water twice, held my spot for me, and bought a fan, and fanned me. Off and on for the whole damn thing. And I'm so bad with names, and I feel so bad about that. I looked for y'all. Not that y'all will ever find this. I mean, if you do, thank you so, so very much. Look me up on Facebook. Um, I would really love the opportunity to make it up for you. I couldn't find you after the show. I looked around. Um, but that was amazing. So, um, the first band, Body of Light, was this sort of, like, 80s, kind of, you know, uh, new wave band, and they were really good, and then after that, I can't remember the name of it, I'll have it posted right here somewhere, um, and that was a mindfuck. I don't even know if I got like a piece of footage of that or not, but that was a total mindfuck. Like they burned sage and like had the smoke going, like to totally like clear your 
the, the atmosphere and get you all clean and ready to go and then they mind fucked you like it was like if you took Roz Williams in a female body and uh, had him do like Cyclone 9 Columbine style music with his flair from a feminine point of view, oh my god, so that was a mind fuck. I had like a little anxiety attack during that show, um, which was amazing. And then of course Strab Majesty came on and oh, that was fucking awesome. I'm really surprised they don't have guitar techs, well, or techs in general to set up their stuff for them. They just go up on stage and like set it up themselves out of costume and then come back. Um, it was a hundred fucking degrees in there. It had to have been hotter on stage. Um, like, it started to cool down a little bit as the night goes on, but they had full suits on. Like, the whole thing. Like, it was like a costume suit, you know, it was real shiny or whatever, but I guarantee fucking to you that shit was hot as fuck. I would know. I have worn suits before. They're fucking hot. I can't even imagine. Uh, like... But, that's beside the point. Um, it was an amazing show. Totally fucking worth it. I'm sorry you missed out on it, Justine. That's okay. We'll catch up on uh, some other concert, perhaps a metal show. Um, and, yeah. I'm gonna drink some more water and uh, maybe some coffee. Like I said, I cannot hear out of this ear, like, at all, because I was right next to the speaker, right next to the stage, and, oh, my goodness. It's time to head home now. The Fila Polizei. Scheibse. Okay, I'm home, and I have to piss so bad. Like, I had to piss when I left, but I didn't want to. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would share that information with y'all. You, them, they, them, you, the, you, y'all, whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't care. I'm really tired. My head is ringing. Whatever. I didn't sleep well. I had a really cool, really fun time. Um... So glad to be back home. Um, <laughs> but my head is ringing like I just went shooting um, without ear protection, which is probably just as damaging. So this is probably going to go on for a couple of days, um, which is fine. Totally worth it. <laughs> um, I'm going to let's see if I can knock out some uh, work on the demo I've been working on. Um, I may share a bit of that with y'all at some point in time. Uh, I don't know. Depends on if I'm feeling confident, I guess. Anyway, I just wanted to say I really don't give a fuck if you like or subscribe or click that little bell. I'm not doing this for anyone but myself. This is an, yeah, yeah, basically it's an entirely selfish endeavor. Um, yeah, so I'm not doing it for you. Um, I guess fuck off. Fuck off.